right, there's a uh, controversy in the waterproofing industry about whether we need to pitch systems towards the pump or whether they can stay level, whether they be on the footing or in front of the footing. And um, we had a few comments to uh, make about that. Okay, so there, there's a lot of systems on the market where it is necessary to pitch the pipes towards the sump uh, because of the fact that they don't have a drop-off point going into the pump itself. And uh, under those conditions, uh, such as drain tile, um, there's other systems on the market that don't have a uh, severe drop um, that uh, right by the pump, which takes the water and drops it down directly into this, the, the pump itself. For example, here, here is a drop-off point. This, this would be installed directly by the pump and the system, this is one of the systems that would be installed, would be slid into here, and then the water, if it was level, would drop down into the pump, creating a draw from the pipe into the pump itself. Underneath the basement floor, there's always going to be water. To have the uh, presumption that we're going to be able to dry every inch of the basement water underneath the slab is not a realistic one. And if it were, those pumps would be running 24-7. The reality of the situation is, in a basement waterproofing situation, that water is going to be present under the slab, and we accept that as professional basement waterproofers. The fact of the matter is, what we need to address is any water that threatens the floor surface only. We don't want to drain from underneath the floor, um, you know, eight inches underneath the floor, because it's just going to be an ever-present pump humming and there's going to, it's just not going to work. It's not efficient. What we want to do as professionals is address the water as it threatens the floor. So if we were to install a system that is level and we have a drop-off point and we put a pump every 100 feet or so, 100 to 120 feet, a drop-off point, um, this does work very well. Now, contrary to plumbing inspectors and and uh, some professionals in the field that uh, there's controversy on this. Facts of the matter is, personally, I've been doing this for years, over 20 years, and I've seen that this does work, and I know it works, and it's not if it works, it just does work. What we want to do is address the water as it approaches the bottom of the floor. Therefore, pitching the system in front of the footing is not necessary. You can do it, absolutely. The problem with it is that we're going to be basically drawing more water and the threat of undermining the foundation is, is a very relevant fact. We want to make sure that we're only addressing the water as it rises to the floor at a level approximately four inches underneath the floor is acceptable. And then we drain that water directly into the pump with a drop off point. All right, so the facts of the matter are, in basement waterproofing, it is not necessary if you have the right system installed to pitch the system. Uh, whether it's installed on the footing or in front of the footing really doesn't matter. What matters is that there's a drop-off point, a violent drop-off point that takes the water in the, the piping system and draws it to the pump. And then, of course, cutting off every 100 to 120 feet having two drop-off points. Now this is, uh, this is a proven method that has worked for decades and I just wanted to uh, address the controversy that's now out in the field um, trying to make other systems look like they work better or, or whatever. I mean the, the fact of the matter is that in basement waterproofing we want to address the water only when it's, a, when it's threatening the top of the floor. We don't want to dredge for water. The possibility, the possibility of undermining the footing by drawing dirt into the system is a very real situation as happened all over the country and the world. So we want to make sure that we don't put these systems too deep and pitch them so as we draw dirt from underneath the footing, which can cause an under-excavation and ultimately a failure in the foundation wall cracking and then the house falling a little bit, which then we would result in peering and jacking the house back up. Very expensive proposition. So um, we wanted to present this as the uh, counter to what's out there. And, um, you know, we, we firmly believe that we just need to address the water as it threatens the floor.